Welcome back to Site Tech Intermountain SiteWorks training videos. In this video, I wanted to brush over the uh, eBubble option that's down here in the bottom left or whatever screen you want to put it on. If you don't have it assigned to any of your screens over here, there are these two arrows in the corners. You can assign whatever you need to see in here 3D slice review, um, horizontal light bars, whatever you would like, but there is the eBubble option. What you need to do is to calibrate this to the bubble on your pole. So you need to verify that the pole, um, the bubble on your pole is as accurate as possible. And then what you would do is level your pole up and get that bubble as close as you can. And you can go up to this menu button at the top here, come down to settings, and in settings is an e-bubble option right here. So once you're in here, you can go ahead and calibrate this e-bubble at this point. You can see that the tilt value is out quite a bit right now. So if we go back to the main screen, if I were to record a point right now and hit OK, it's going to give us this option that says the tilt value is out of tolerance. Do you want to save it? So it's a little warning. What I will say is this is a little bit annoying if you're taking a topo just across the field and you're taking it kind of quick and uh, let's say your tilt compensator is on or you're just outside of that, that bubble in the middle just a little bit but you're tired of this coming on every time. What you can do is change some settings in the eBubble. If you go into the menu again, go to settings, and back into eBubble, there's this option right here, enable tilt warning for measurements. If you turn that off or unclick that and go back to your main screen, you can still record the point even if the tilt value is out right here. Now, what you would want to do to calibrate this, like I said, is level up your pull uh, to the bubble on the pull itself and then hit settings and go back to eBubble and there's a calibrate right here. It's gonna expire every 30 days. But what you do is just go ahead and hold it tight, go ahead and hit start and it's gonna go for 30 seconds right here. Most likely gonna go way faster than 30 seconds, but that's just what it actually wants you to allow some time for. Once it's complete, it'll just say it's done, calibrated, and ensure the front panel. When it says front panel, that means where the power button is and all the lights that are lighting up for Wi-Fi and satellites have that facing you, push OK. The other thing you can do up here is the response of that e-bubble. You can have it on slow, medium, or fast, and the sensitivity also. You can see the size of this center circle right here. Most of this stuff is defaulted medium, medium, but you can put this on low or you can put it on high, which gives you a little bit more range. This is totally up to whoever's using it, whatever their personal preferences are. These I don't change much, but this one right here, this uh, tilt warning is one that always gets people where they're like, oh man, I gotta be perfect to take that shot. I would always say, yes, you wanna be as close as possible for most everything you do, but if you're just taking quick topo shots, I assure you if you're off just a tiny bit on the bubble here, not the end of the world, but staking stuff out, recording control points, all that, you want to be as close as you can. Now, this is an IMU sensor that's up in your receiver head. That's why we're calibrating it in between the pole bubble and this bubble, and that's why it needs to be in that order, that the level on your pole needs to be perfect, then you calibrate the IMU. And it is simply just the ability to see it on the screen here and not have to look at the one on the pole. If it's hidden behind your data collector, your hands over it, some of the T7s kind of covered up. But anyways, this is a quick short video on how to deal with the e-bubble and to calibrate it and change the settings with that. So thanks for watching this from Site Tech Intermountain on SiteWorks training videos.